What's up, y'all? This is an ephedra bush. Its scientific name is Ephedra Seneca. Most people know it as Mormon tea or Brigham tea. In traditional Chinese medicine, they call it Ma Huang, I believe. That's how you pronounce it. Um, but you should always look up, look up this plant and any other plant by its scientific name because that name is universal and some plants share common names and obviously that can can confuse shit a bit this plant is native to the southwest u.s and if you were to go out looking for it you will look in a dry arid environment with sandy type of soil and it'll be in direct sunlight this plant ephedra belongs to a class of plants called gymnosperms Gymnosperms are old ass plants. Pine trees are included in this class. They produce a seed outside of an ovary, hence the name gymnosperm or naked seed. This is opposed to angiosperms, the plants we're most familiar with today, which produce their seed within the ovary. When that ovary is ripened, we call that shit a fruit whether it's edible or not, okay? And this particular gymnosperm, ephedra, has been in human use for at least 2,500 years. It's been found to be most beneficial for ailments like uh, asthma, bronchitis, cough, congestion, and it's actually a, overall just a good stimulant. It actually helped scientists uh, synthesize methamphetamines. I think it was like in 18, the late 1800s. <clears throat> and this, the reason it's so effective for the ailments I just mentioned is due to a naturally occurring plant compound known as ephedrine, which can be synthesized as a medicine. Synthetic ephedrine compounds like pseudoephedrine are widely used in over-the-counter um, cold and decongestant medicines. Today, ephedrine is regulated as a drug up until the early 2000s. That's when it became regulated as a drug. They used it in uh, energy pills, ingredient in energy pills, and it was an ingredient in uh, diet supplements. A popular one was Trim Spa. If you decide to go out and collect this plant, herb, whatever you want to call it, and put it in your repertoire and do a lot of research on the plant and its active constituent, constituents, ephedrine probably being the most noticeable as far as effect, use Google Scholar. It's your friend. Look up the studies that have already been done on this shit. Um, and also look up the adverse effects from this plant.